Our next caller is Connie from North Carolina. Hey, Connie, how can we help you? Hey, guys, thanks for taking my call. Um, I was wondering if you had any advice for someone who frequently gets migraines or headaches um, from deadlifting and squatting. So um, I'm pretty new to weightlifting. I've been deadlifting and squatting pretty consistently the past six weeks. Um, I've seen pretty good gains. Um, so my squat's gone up about 80 pounds, uh, deadlift about 100 pounds, and I feel really good um, with the exception of these random headaches and migraines that I've been getting um, immediately after doing these two lifts. Um, I've also been experiencing some neck stiffness or soreness. Um, sometimes the left side of my neck will go numb like a few days after the workout. And I've rechecked my form over and over. I've even gotten a couple personal trainers from my gym to check my form. They actually said it looked pretty good. Um, I know that I have like mobility issues in my ankles and feet, but yeah, I don't know what that would have to do with my neck. So any suggestions on where to go from here? Cause I'm just really at a loss. Sal, doesn't Jessica battle with migraines? She does, but not not like this. Oh, okay. You know, it's it's interesting. Uh, Connie, by the way, I think you've won a couple shirts from us. I recognize your name. Is that is that true? I don't think that was me, but it might have been my sister. She's obsessed with you guys. Oh, okay. Um, bit trucker mm. lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. I recognize the, the last name. Um, okay, so interesting you're saying what you're saying, because I've actually had a few clients with exactly this same uh, issue, and it was really tough uh, for us to figure out what the problem was, but eventually we did come up with some stuff that started to help. So I, I got to ask you a few more questions before um, I can I can try helping you out here. Uh, number one, are you doing any caffeine before you work out? Not specifically, and in fact, so I'll usually go to the gym around five five thirty um, before work, and I will have caffeine later in the day before I start my work day, but. Um, not before I go to the gym, no. Okay, so um, okay, so a couple of things you're gonna have to juggle here because you work out so late. This may impact sleep later, so you have to play with this. But caffeine before your workout actually could help. Mm -hmm. uh, could definitely help. Uh, caffeine has got a positive effect on headaches. Typically, in fact, it's one of the ingredients it's in Excedrin. In Excedrin, yeah, mm -hmm. caffeine. Uh, I believe with uh, with aspirin. But what it, what it does is it, it helps the blood vessels from expanding too much. What's happening with the deadlift and uh, the squat is you're, you're, you're building a lot of pressure in your head, and then the pressure is immediately released when you drop the bar. And I think it's that switch uh, that's causing some of these problems. Caffeine can help, and so does uh, how you're doing your lift. Now, not necessarily your form, but rather when you're doing the lift, usually the way I recommend people squat and deadlift is they take a deep breath in, they hold their breath, which braces the core, they do the lift, then they take a breath in between reps. I'm going to tell you to not do that because I think that might be contributing oh. to your headache. Are you doing that, by the way? Which wouldn't, Don't feel bad. That's how you're supposed to do it. But is that, are you doing that? Uh, I've never really done the cueing with the breath. Um, I'm... In fact, I might be holding my breath. I have no idea. Okay. I don't really pay attention to my breath. I'm more just trying to focus on the muscle that I'm trying to target. Gotcha. Okay, so when you're doing your lift, I want you to breathe out and try to maintain, uh, try to be relaxed in your head and neck as you breathe out. This may affect how much weight you can lift, but so what? It's probably a better trade-off uh, than having a migraine. So as you're doing the lift, I want you to breathe like this. <sighs> as you're doing uh, the lift to prevent that pressure uh, from building up uh, in your head and from causing that problem. And then the other thing is this, is uh, have you tried a uh, increasing your sodium intake mm, yeah. uh, before your workout? I have not. So okay. that's in fact, the, I'm, I'm that, seeing a nutritionist right now who's like, back off the sodium. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. And in fact, did these headaches start when you started backing off on the sodium? Uh, it's hard to tell because I've started around the same time. So I started the workouts around the same time. Yeah. So, as a nutritionist. So I can, two things that I, I, I remember clients that, that had some similar and the two, th one was actually sodium and hydration, like drinking, yeah. drinking water, yeah, hydration. Yeah. Drinking water and then the sodium. And then the other one was, um, she had really locked up traps. And so she was getting like tension headaches. And then when she would load the bar on there and we would squat or overhead press, 
we would get these migraines that would flare up every once in a while. So what I'd have to do is before we'd ever go and exercise is kind of release all that with like a lacrosse ball mm -hmm. to kind of open her up and relax that before we go into doing any movements where those would fire like crazy. So those are the two in, 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 in my experience that I've dealt with that helps. So hydration, sodium, which uh, Sal already alluded to and Justin. And then the other thing is, I don't know if you have really, really tight traps. Sometimes when you have really tight traps, you get those tension headaches, especially when you yeah. load a bar on your traps. I've also had clients that had really bad TMJ, uh, which also had contributed to uh, you know neck strain and lots of tightness uh, in that direction, which then inevitably led to headaches as well. Uh, but yeah, that's more, you know, tension related. So, uh, but definitely hydration is something to consider, uh, you know, as far as like what I've found with my clients that really, mm -hmm. if once they emphasize that a lot, uh, it did help. Now, Connie, I, I forgot to ask you why your nutritionist is having you reduce your sodium. Do you have uh, high blood pressure? No, I mean, I, I tried to get her to give me an answer because I did hear you guys say it was good, especially with weightlifting mm -hmm. um, to have higher sodium and uh, she just was like, "Yeah, don't do it." Do you do you have uh, do you eat a diet that's high in heavily processed foods, or is it pretty much whole whole foods? Uh, yeah, no, it's pretty whole food, pretty much whole foods. What a weird, um, rec what a weird recommendation. That's man. old. It's based yeah, off it's of old old, old science. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. So so try this out. If your blood pressure is fine, if you're you don't have any contraindications, um, you're not eating a lot of heavily processed food. Try this. Okay. Try having. Um, now we work with Element, which is a you know uh, Rob Wolf's company makes electrolytes. It's a thousand milligrams of sodium. Tastes really good. Try drinking a packet of that about thirty minutes before you work out. Take a little bit of caffeine if you if you want. You could start with like 60, 70 milligrams, a hundred milligrams, even fifty milligrams before you work out, and then try the breathing while you lift and see if that makes a difference. I have uh, I, I I bet it would make if it doesn't at least get if it doesn't at least help. It'll, it might even get rid of uh, the migraines that you're getting when you're doing the squats and the deadlifts. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I wanted to mention too, I do wear a mask at the gym because it's required. I don't know if that's necessarily it's not relevant. It's, it's not helping the cause. Yeah, I mean, if, <laughs> if you're doing high rep stuff, um, then yeah, I would say that it might be an issue. But if you're doing, you know, if you're, you know, 10, 12 reps, I don't think it's making uh, that big of a difference. It's not helping though, that's no. for sure. Okay, well, awesome. Yeah, I'll try some of these things. Um, and I wanted to thank you guys so much for this podcast. I've had so many paradigm shattering moments and you guys are awesome. Um, so authentic and I really appreciate it. Um, your help navigating such a confusing, uh, world as health and fitness. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Thanks, thank you for Johnny. your support, Connie. Thank you. This is like one of those ones where, uh, obviously very tough to do via yeah. podcast without like, you know, cause here's a, it, it's it, a bit we, of trial and error. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we all threw a ton of things yeah. and uh, hopefully she actually, you know, if she listens to this. Hopefully she teases some of those out and actually just applies one or two at a time and then sees what happens, applies the other one or two at a time to get to the bottom of it. Because if she throws out all the advice or throws all the <laughs> advice that we gave yeah. at one time, she might not know exactly what the problem is. Uh, but the, those are the two things that came to my mind right away is the, the hydration sodium thing. I've dealt with that. Mm -hmm. And then the really tight traps mm -hmm. uh, before you go. Yeah. And, do you know, and, and again, without knowing more, it's hard, right? Because maybe the dietitian or the person working on nutrition. Yeah, what the found, fuck? What well, was that? There might be a reason, right? There might be. Yeah, she, yeah but she didn't say she knew. She, she didn't. She said it wasn't blood pressure. I mean, who knows? It could be something with her kidneys. It could be. I know, so I don't I want to make sure that. Yeah, but the nutritionist isn't doing blood work. I don't know. I don't know if she's working with a, like a, in, in the hospital hospital or, or what the deal is. Um, I know. feel like if she was working with someone that was doing blood work, they would have gave back it. They would have yeah, diagnosed her or it something. It could also just be based off of old crappy science, yeah. you know, where yeah. you're, you're, you're- That's my my feeling. Yeah. It's just, it's just like, that's one of the things they do. Oh, yeah. drop your calories just and drop try and drop sodium. It just, you know, that's just one of those yeah. blanket things that they have. Yeah. But I mean, I had, I had a client who felt exactly the same way. We do the deadlifts and afterwards it would just all of a sudden start throbbing in her head. Yeah. And I had her take uh, 50 milligrams of caffeine before the workout and, and do her breathing. Yeah. Gone. Completely yeah. gone. It made that big of a difference.